And I hope you're doing well today. We had the thunderstorms that ripped through the area yesterday and even in Zion National Park, it looks partly cloudy, but we've had just enough rain that we've seen a flash flood warning issued for the park. I'll talk more about that in a little bit. These puffy clouds out here are the beginning of what will be rising clouds. The atmosphere is unstable. That means these clouds will have a chance to get up to 30 or 40,000 feet. And when that happens, you can get turbulence, you get hail, microburst winds, very heavy rain that could cause flash flooding, and also um, a lot of lightning. So this is the kind of thing we're worried about today. And as you can see, uh, the, the clouds out here on the Stansbury Range are beginning to pop up. And here's Zion National Park. That uh, This is, uh, in effect, a flash flood warning until 1.45 p.m. We're watching that as well as a new storm. Oh, we've just had this issued right now. This is a flash flood warning right there just south of, it's in the Perea River drainage, okay? So this was just issued moments ago from this heavy storm moving over what is a very popular area where people like to go. And uh, this is the thing we always have to worry about in Southern Utah, these pop-up showers and thunderstorms that can hit and cause flash flooding. And you can see they're already starting to form near Bryce Canyon and out towards Escalante. Uh, we've had some rain in arches and canyon lands. Some of it has been locally heavy. We've also seen some showers and storms in the Loa area. Right now we're getting, look at all of this lightning in Loa. Wow, there's at least a dozen or more lightning strikes south of Loa out towards Boulder Mountain. Ah, and we're still seeing showers from Nephi across the Uinta Basin and a few showers that have been uh, fairly heavy. Also a couple of showers that we've noted here around northeastern Utah. Now in this area of green, this is where some potential flash flooding will occur today. This is a marginal risk for flash floods and this is a marginal risk for severe weather. It does include Salt Lake City, Ogden, Provo, down towards Richfield, over to Moab and northward. The, Evanston, all of this area right here potentially could see severe weather. Okay, so beware of that. Temperatures, they're running cooler than they were yesterday, and we expect those numbers to continue to be cooler today than yesterday. Salt Lake City, again, those pop-up showers, you know, they'll become more rambunctious, a little bit more severe around 3 or 4 p.m. Here's the high-resolution computer model. You can see that by about 6 p.m., a number of showers and thunderstorms are going to rumble through the area, and then it'll improve a little bit as we head towards uh, just a slight chance on Wednesday and then drier weather on Thursday. Here's our computer model that's the, high, that's the bigger, wider range. It's not as high a resolution, but a pretty good chance for showers Tuesday and Wednesday, and then Thursday, things start to dry out just a bit. High temperatures today, mostly in the 70s or 80s. Can you believe that? And St. George, looking for 99 today, 101, then 102, and then we're up to 104. And then a slight chance for showers and thunderstorms as the monsoon returns next weekend. Salt Lake City will be 87 with showers and thunderstorms, some severe this afternoon. And then a slight chance for showers and thunderstorms on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. We're drying out and turning sunny and getting hotter. By Saturday, a slight chance for showers and thunderstorms Sunday and also on Monday. So it looks like the monsoon is back again next weekend.